It was Tuesday, March 15th. It was fair in Los Angeles. We were working the day watch out of juvenile narcotics. My name's Friday. A powerful new drug capable of producing weird and dangerous hallucinations had found its way onto the streets of the city. It had fallen into the hands of juvenile experimenters. We had to try and stop it. The story you are about to see is true. Better get over there in a hurry. Right, Skipper. Woman who phoned in the complaint said he was painted up like an Indian. Yeah? Said she never saw a kid do what he was doing. What's that, Skipper? Chewing the bark off a tree. It took us four and a half minutes to reach the vacant lot where the strange behaving juvenile was reported to have been seen. Now, what's your name? Don't you know my name? My name's Blue Boy. There I am. I'm over there now. I'm not here anymore. My hair's green and I'm a tree. Even if your body does die, your mind will live on. You're the dirty disbelievers. Evil! 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 Right, come on, son. <laughs> Settle down. Bra red. Red, red. Red. I can hear them. I can hear them all. Yeah, sure you can, kid. There's a law against taking drugs. Uh, no, my kind, man. No, my kind. <laughs> You're pretty high and far out, aren't you? What kind of kick are you on, son? Oh, it's, it's weird. I'm on the train. 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 We're crossing over. We're crossing over. We're crossing over. We're crossing over on the train. On the train. On the train. 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 Train, 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 train. Now you stay put in that chair. I am the chair. Is it habit forming? It's new, Bill. We can't be sure about physical addiction, but one thing we're certain of. Yeah. In every case so far, every one of the individuals has had a psychological dependence on it. Well, you tell me which is worse. Bill, the real issue here is the degree of danger this drug presents to the psychological health of the user along with the resultant effect of the user and those around them. Users believe they're turning into monsters. They want to destroy themselves, yet they have no urge to commit suicide. They experience the vilest of garish, frightening hallucinations. Yeah, like painting yourself up like an Indian, trying to chew the bark off a tree, burying your head in a hole. That a single pound of the preparation could turn every person in Los Angeles County into a total psychotic. The population of the county, seven million people. If you could have seen your boy a couple hours ago, I doubt you'd feel that way. And look at him now. He always go around painted up like that, half his face blue, half yellow. I'm smoking marijuana. Now, you're not putting my boy in any jail. He's not going to have any police record. If we can't settle this right now, maybe my attorneys can. The law against being in a highly intoxicated state under the influence of any drug or narcotic. And your boy was and probably still is to some extent. Nonsense. You're fine, aren't you, son? Just fine, Ma. There, you can see for yourselves. Benji Carver was placed on probation and released to his parents. Satisfied, Sherlock? When we returned to the squad room, Sergeants Gene Zappi and Dominic Carr were questioning two female juveniles. I saw all these weird colors, and then I saw an eye. You know what I mean? A human eye. It kept coming closer and closer. Then all of a sudden, everything started to melt. You know, just melt and run down. The sidewalk melted, the street melted, just everything. We got him from Blue Boy. That's what they call him, just Blue Boy. Benji Carver. I think I'm gonna be sick again. Please help me. Terrible, just awful. I'm so sick, my head still aches. Me and Sandy, we, we did school today. We couldn't have gone anyway after we took it. Sergeant Carr. Come on, Edna. By now, the users had established their own language. The drug itself was now called the ticket, the ghost, the beast, the chief, the hawk, or simply 25. 45 minutes to an hour for the drug to take effect. Most users were now spending this waiting period inhaling marijuana. 9 a.m. Bill and I reported in for work as usual. It was beginning to look like any other Wednesday. What's he done this time? Can you tell me? Yes, ma'am. He's been selling dangerous drugs to a minor. You mean another minor, don't you, Sergeant? No, ma'am. He's 18. When we find him, he'll be tried as an adult. 
Friday, December 9th, 8.30 p.m. We figured the Sunset Strip might be a good place to dig up a lead. Since the warrant on Benji Carver was registered and in the hands of all units, we hoped it wouldn't be too long before the suspect was picked up. The parade of teenagers begins at Laurel Canyon and Sunset and ends at Doheny. On Friday and Saturday nights for most of the young people in the city, the strip had become the in place to go. It had also become the scene of teenage riots. Sergeant Friday! Sandy, Edna May, what's happening? Nothing much. Been behaving yourselves? We told him no. We're on our way home. You told who no? Blue Boy. He asked us. Do you have the address? Yeah, someplace. We're supposed to be up in the hills somewhere. You gonna break up the party? About time somebody tried, don't you think? Ten eighteen p.m., Bill and I drove up to the address given us by the two girls. They must be way out to leave the door unlocked. That's weed. Try to listen to this. It's our duty to advise you of your constitutional rights. Now, do you understand that? I do, man. I understand it. I'm the one you want to talk to, because I sure understand it. Well, fine. Suppose you climb down off of there and come over here and talk to me. Talk to me about Blue Boy. He's super seen, man. Is he coming back? No, man. Dig this seat table? We're in power. Suppose you go over there and sit down. Police officer, what's your name? Philip Jameson. How old are you? 18. Poor Benji. Look at him. What's the matter with him? He's been like that for over an hour. He had some kind of a fit. And then he got quiet. Just kept saying he wanted to get further out. Further out. Further out. Well, he made it. He's dead. At the inquest, the coroner's jury ruled that the 18-year-old suspect had administered himself an overdose of marijuana in combination with various barbiturates and had thus taken his own life.